Victor Weminyama is the most hyped NBA prospect since LeBron James. So I'm here on NBA 2K24 and we're going to put LeBron James on the same team as Victor Weminyama. Not just today's LeBron, we're going to be putting rookie LeBron James here on the same team as Victor Weminyama, the two most hyped NBA prospects of all time here. Let's see how this goes. So we're here in NBA 2K24. As you can see right here, we have Victor Weminyama on the San Antonio Spurs, a 90 overall. We have rookie LeBron James, who's up to an 85 overall at this point. Both of them victor is 19 lebron is 18 can't wait to see how this goes down here between this duo here and yeah i mean this is definitely gonna be pretty interesting to see how this goes down i think victor might have the better stats the first year lebron might be having the better stats the second year either way i wouldn't be surprised if both of them actually end up averaging 25 points a game not this season maybe in year two or three but we'll see how this goes down first let me get you to rotation first before we kick into things so here's the rotation we're rocking with this year in year number one. We got Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, LeBron James, of course, Jeremy Sohan, and Victor Wembanyama. We got Kelvin Johnson, Zach Collins, Charles Bassey, and Malachi Branham coming off the bench, along with Steady Austin for the San Antonio Spurs. Now, like I mentioned before, I said we're going to be doing three years of the simulation here to see how things go down. I want to see in these three years if this duo of LeBron James and Victor Wembanyama both can win NBA championship for the San Antonio Spurs. I think that'd be pretty interesting. I'm also very curious to see who's actually going to win the rookie of the year here if actually one of them do win. I do think one of them should win, but you never know here on NBA 2K24. So we're going to see here which one wins rookie of the year and let's see if any MVPs come out of this. So if you are ready, I'm ready. Let's get into the video and let's get started. I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the season here, and hopefully the Spurs are doing pretty well. If not, this is going to be a great first year either way for Victor Wembanyama and rookie LeBron James. I'll see you guys shortly. And this season here, we got Luka Doncic as your MVP, averaging 35, 10, and 9. LeBron James is the one that actually wins rookie of the year this year, averaging 22 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 1.6 blocks a game. Crazy season for LeBron James. We've got Russell Westbrook, 6-man. Victor Wembanyama is your defensive player of the year this year. And year number one, I gotta say that's crazy. And here we are. Uh, obviously, I don't expect them to be on an all-NBA team. I said this is the actual LeBron on the Lakers, not our Spurs LeBron. But he actually does make the all-NBA third team, so... I guess I'm wrong right there. Let's check out the player stats here at the end of the season. End of the season here, our rookie LeBron averaged 22 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists a game. Victor Wembanyama averaged 18 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists. He had 2 and a half box game as well, so still a very good year for him. 17 points for Kelvin Johnson, 14 for Vassell, 10 for Trey Jones, and Jeremy Sohan had 9. And at the end of the season here, we were actually the 6th seed out in the Western Conference, going 43 and 39. That's pretty good. We were 26 and 15 at home, 17 and 24 on the road. I mean, I actually didn't even think we were going to make playoffs this year, but I mean, I can't complain about this. Do I think we're going to beat the Thunder here in the first round? No, I think we probably will lose to them. However, there's no complaints here. We obviously probably weren't going to win this year, but you never know with year number two. Anyway, so let's simulate here the first round and see how this goes down between these two teams. Are we going to beat the Thunder? Who knows? Game number one, the Thunder win 126-111. to 111. Dort actually drops 22 for them. Josh Giddy with a triple-double here. Knows how the rebounds and assists are under 15. We got Keldon Johnson with 24 points for us. LeBron only had 13 in this one. Seven turnovers. Not a good game right there for our rookie LeBron James. Game two, we do beat the Thunder though, 116-98. to 98. Shea drops 31 points. I swear he's always averaging 31 points, like every single game. Nothing wrong with that, because that's very, very impressive. I swear he's just at 31 every single game. Check the box score. I'm dead serious about that. LeBron comes back with 20 points in this one. Victor Wembanyama with 19, 10, 7, and 6 blocks, so he was going crazy. Let's see how this goes down here in game number 3. We end up losing to the Thunder. Shea drops 39 in this one. We end up losing 124 to 96. A complete blowout here. Let's see how this goes down in game number 4. We do take game 4, though, so we're fighting here in this series. Cullen Johnson with 19, LeBron 18, Victor Wembanyama with 17. We only won by 6 points here, but we got the job done. 2-2 two, two series here. Let's see how this happens in game number 5. The Thunder win this one. 29-10 for Chet home run right there. Kelvin Johnson just 27 this one. LeBron only with 16. We're on the brink of elimination here in round number one. And we have lost. The Spurs have been eliminated in round one by the OKC Thunder here in six games. Obviously, I didn't think that we were going to win this year, so that is okay. We still made the playoffs here, and I didn't think we were going to make the playoffs. Western Conference Finals MVP, Luka, 42, 10, and 13. That's crazy. And the Sixers do win the NBA Finals with Joel Embiid as your Finals MVP. So, obviously, year number one, LeBron still won Rookie of the Year. Victor had Defensive Player of the Year. Let's see how well they improve after year number two, and hopefully we can do even better next season. I'll see you guys at the end of next year, and who knows, maybe we'll be making our championship run. I'll see you guys shortly. 
And the year number two here, once again, Luka Doncic is your MVP of the season. We got Stefan Cassell, Rookie of the Year, Lonzo, Sixth Man of the Year, and Victor Weminyama, Back-to-Back Defensive Player of the Year for him. That's really, really good for us, and especially Victor as the team. Victor Weminyama, All-NBA First Team this season, already up to a 95 overall. LeBron James on our team, 91 overall. On the All-NBA Second Team, that's exactly what you'd like to see out of your two best players right there. Let's check out the player stats here at the end of the year, see how things turn out for us. And Victor Weminyama led the winning score for us. He yeah, averaged 24 points, 12 rebounds, and four assists. He also had three blocks a game this year. LeBron James averaged 22 points, eight rebounds, and six assists, two steals, and pretty much two blocks a game. A great season for him as well. Kellen Johnson with 16, Vassell with 14, Trey Jones with 11, and Jeremy Sohan with 10 points a game this season. And at the end of the season here, we were 48 and 34. We were the third seed out in the Western Conference. A very, very good year for us. We were five games back behind the OKC Thunder. We were 30 and 11 at home, 18 and 23 on the road this year and i got no complaints out of this we were very very good this year and i can't wait to see how things turn out for us in the nba playoffs we're gonna be taking on the pelicans here in round number one let's see how they got on their squad they got cj mccollum herb jones brandon ingram zam williamson jones found tunes and trey murphy this is the exact same team as they have currently in real life let's see how this goes down game number one we end up winning 136 to 103 lebron with 34 points in this one victor women with 27 and 12 that's exactly what you like to see game two we have also won Victor with 33 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, and 7 blocks. That is an incredible game. And LeBron had 30, 12, and 11. Look at that game from Victor and LeBron with a triple-double. 140 to 109 victory. And Trey Jones had 20 points as well. Even Vassell had 20 points. Game 3, we end up losing, though. Ingram with 24 for them. Again, big games from Victor and LeBron James. Unfortunately, we did lose this time around. In game number four, though, we actually ended up losing as well. Pelicans come back here in the series. 121-112 to 112 victory over us. Zion with 31-6-6. Six six. LeBron had 30-10-7. Victor only 13 points in this one. Let's see how this goes down in game number five. We do end up losing here, so we're up 2-0. Now we're currently down 3-2 to the Pelicans. That is not looking good for us. Devin Vassell with 23. LeBron, 22-9-7. Victor had 19 points game in this one. But Zion averaged 35 points in this game. 133-131 to victory for the Pelicans over us. We're currently on the brink of elimination here. Can we come back here? We're up 2-0. We're currently down 3-2. Can we come back? And yes, we do. We win here in game number six. Zion drops 28 for the Pelicans, but LeBron drops 33, 3, and 9 here in this game. 17 boards for Victor Reminyama. Game seven here against the Pelicans. Who's going to win and go on to the next round? And it's going to be the Pelicans. The Spurs have been eliminated here in the first round. That is very unfortunate. That is not what you want to see at all. The Thunder have made the NBA Finals, and they beat the Cavs there in seven games. I was really hoping that this year might be the year for the Spurs here. I've seen... Victor Weminyama and rookie LeBron James. Well, he's not a rookie anymore. He's a sophomore in this. Obviously, they're both sophomores. But the thing is, though, they were looking really good this year. I showed you their stats. They were looking great. They played well in that first round. Unfortunately, though, it was not enough to beat the Pelicans there as we ended up losing. The Pelicans still beat the Kings there as you swept them in the second round before being swept themselves by the OKC Thunder in the Western Conference Finals. That's not what you want to see. Hopefully next year, though, can come back. Maybe we'll get an MVP on our team next year. That'd be very nice. And hopefully we can make a championship run next season. So I'll simulate it to the end of next year. Hopefully things go well for us. And I'll see you guys shortly. End the season here, we got Victor Weminyama as your most valuable player, averaging 28 points, 14 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks a game, also 2 steals a game. He also shot 39% from 3, so a great season for Victor Weminyama. I was really hoping one of them won MVP this year, and we got Victor win MVP, so obviously that is great for us. Dylan Harper, Rookie of the Year, Cooper Flag is your 6th man. Victor is also Defensive Player of the Year. He's already won Defensive Player of the Year 3 straight times here in the simulation. Shout out Victor Weminyama. He obviously should be on the All-NBA first team, and yes, he is let's see where our lebron james is he's on the all nba second team 94 overall for lebron james that is great for us let's check out the player stats here at the end of the season to see how things lined up for us 28 points 14 rebounds four assists two steals and three blocks a game like i mentioned before for Le- for victor Weminyama. LeBron James with 25 points, 9 rebounds, and 7 assists a game. Pretty much 2 steals and 2 blocks a game as well. A great combo between the two. I'm pretty much 25 for LeBron there. 28 for Victor. That's going crazy. Kellen Johnson with 13. Vassell had 12. Brandon had 11. Sohan with 11. And Trey Jones had 9 points a game this season. And at the end of the year here, we were the first seed out in the Western Conference going 62-20 and 20 on the season. 33-8 and eight at home, 29-12 and 12 on the road. Things are looking up for us this season. Hopefully this is the year we make that title run. 
And the first series here is not going to be an easy matchup as we take on the Los Angeles Lakers. Although they don't have LeBron James on this roster here, it looks like, because he probably retired in this or he's elsewhere. Who knows? But I think we should beat the squad. Game number one, we end up winning Victor Weminyama with 40 points in this game. That's crazy. 20 for Ace Bailey of the Lakers here. Game number two here, we have also won LeBron with 28. Victor had 18 points and 14 rebounds as we get the job done with the 114 to 107 victory over them. In game number three here, we have also lost this game, unfortunately. We lost in overtime 145 to 140. AD with 36. LeBron at 36-16-8 for us. Victor had a triple-double. Fortunately, things did not go our way as we end up losing. Game number four here, we actually lose as well. 132-126. to D'Lo with 25 for the Lakers here. Victor Weminyama had 41 points, but unfortunately, to lose is now a tied series here. 2-2 as we go into game number five. We do end up winning here game number five, 131-106. A blowout with Devin Vassell averaging 26 points in this one. Victor had 24 points and 18 boards. LeBron had a double-double with 21 points and 10 dimes. Let's see how this goes down here in game number six. And we have moved on here taking on the Houston Rockets here in the second round of the playoffs on the Houston Rockets they got Fred still they got Dylan Brooks, Sparks, Smith Jr. Sangoon. Sangoon had a crazy game the other day. Tari Eason and Cam Whitmore and they got Cooper Flag coming off the bench too. Should be an interesting matchup here between these two squads. Game number one, we end up losing here. Victor Webin-Yan with 33-17 and 17 this game. But unfortunately, though, the Rockets beat us in game number one. In game number two here, we do win this one here. 133-127. to 127. LeBron with 33 points. Victor with 24-15 and 15 here. Set four blocks as we take the dub in game number two. Game number three here, we also win. It's now a 2-1 series here. Sangoon with 22. LeBron with 29 this one. Branham actually at 24. Victor Webin-Yan with 23 points and 14 rebounds as we take another victory here. 2-1 series. Series here it is now a 3 1 series here. Dillingham with 18 for the Rockets here, but Victor with 32 and 15. LeBron had 29, 17, and 6. Crazy performances between the two of them right there. As we are now 3 1. Can we go 4 1 and move on to the next round? No, we cannot right away, at least as the Rockets win this game. 28 and 6 and 6 for LeBron there. Came Whitmore with 31 for the Rockets here. Let's see if we can move on to the Western Conference Finals here in game number six. And yes, we do. We get the job done. Moving on to the Western Conference Finals. But we're taking on the OKC Thunder. We obviously lost to them in year number one. Let's see if we can get some revenge here. 30 and 11 for Victor Weminyama in game number one. But Cam Thomas of the Thunder actually with 35. That one, Chet had a huge performance as well. Game two, though, we end up winning here. Victor with 23. LeBron 19. J-Dub with 24 for the Thunder. It's now a 1-1 series. Game number three, though, we also win. Cam Thomas again with 30 for them. But Victor with 34. 15 4 and 6 blocks again, putting up a huge performance. Game number four, though, we end up losing Shea with 31. I'm telling you, 31 points for Shea. And we actually end up losing a lot. 124 to 97 in that game. In game number five here, we end up winning here. LeBron with 22, 14, 5. Victor had 22, 18, and two blocks in this game here. Can we move to the NBA Finals? And yes, we do. Victor Weminyama is your Western Conference Finals MVP, averaging 28 points and 12 rebounds a game here. We're taking on the Detroit Pistons, actually, in the NBA Finals. They got Cade, Jay Nivey, Sarah Thompson. They got Siakam on the squad now. Wendell Carr Jr., Marcus Sasser, Alexander Starr, and Isaiah Stewart. Let's see how this goes down here in the NBA Finals. Game number one, we end up winning here. LeBron with 38, 10, and 6. 29, 14, 9, 2 and 3 for Victor, 140-104 win as we take game 1. Game number 2 here, we also win 126-120, to 120, a closer game. LeBron with a triple-double in the way and scoring for us. In game number 3 here, let's see what happens. We end up losing to the Pistons here. K with 33, we end up losing 118-103. to 103. So definitely not our best game, but you know, we're still up 2-1 in the NBA Finals, so things are going well for us. In game number 4 here, we also take the win. K with 35 for them. LeBron drops 30. Victor had a triple-double, almost a quadruple-double with 8 blocks. That's the funny thing. He shot 315 in this game, right? And he almost had a triple-double. That's crazy. We win by 2 points. We're, let's see if we can get the job done here in game number 5. No, we do not. Again, the Pistons win this game. 113-103. Victor with 22-16. and 16. Let's see how this goes down here in game number 6. And no, we end up losing here. The Spurs and the Pistons are tied here. We're going to go into game 7 of the NBA Finals because Marcus Sasser drops 36 points for the Detroit Pistons. Please tell me we do not blow a 3-1 lead. That would suck. 
And oh, thank God we didn't. The Spurs have won the NBA championship with Victor Wembanyama as your finals MVP, averaging 22 points, 15 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 blocks a game that series. So if you all enjoyed the video, please like to our future content. I mean, obviously, when you put LeBron James and Victor Wembanyama on the same team, you expect great things to happen here. And obviously, here in year number 3, we get the job done as we take home that Larry O'Brien trophy. So if you all enjoyed the video, please like to our future content. If you want to put any two players on the same teams in the future, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. If not, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.